Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to learn how to record and produce your band in Reaper. And this is part 10 of that series. Next, we're going to add some effects to make our track sound bigger, or more live, or more ambient, or ethereal with some reverb and delays. So let's start with the drums. We'll take all the tracks out of record and just put the drums into record. Now, instead of selecting them and hitting the record button, we can also just drag the record buttons like this. And that's going to work with any of the tracks next to each other. It also works for mute and for solo. Quick tip. So let's go back to just the drums and let's hear them. As I mentioned before, they sound a bit dry. So let's add some reverb to them. Now we could add the reverb right in the tracks, but that's gonna waste CPU, putting the same reverb on all the tracks. So instead, we're gonna use a technique called Effects Send and Effects Return. That's why we send all these tracks to another track that has the reverb on it. So let's make a new track over here by double clicking. We'll name it Drum Reverb or drum verb for short. Now we're going to put the effect or the reverb on this track. Go to the effects, and over here we have reverb, which is a reverb plugin that comes with Reaper. Double click it. Now this plugin works with impulse responses, which means if you sample a room, like a recording studio or a hall or a theater, we could add that effect onto our tracks as if they were recorded in those spaces. Now Reaper comes with this reverb, but it doesn't come with the impulse responses. But luckily, there's a lot of free ones on the internet. But I uploaded a few to the Reaper stash, so let's go get those. We'll search Reaper stash, click over here, and then we'll search under my name, Kenny. And right here, we have some IR reverbs that I uploaded. Let's download these which downloads a zip file right here. Let's double click it. And that creates a folder with the IR reverbs we're gonna be using. So let's go back to Reaper. I'm gonna go down over here under add, add file. And here's the folder we downloaded. Here are the files. We'll start with this one right here, drum verb. Now before we play it through our drums, we wanna make sure this setting is set to full wet with no dry. The reason for this is that the dry sound is going to come from here, the original tracks. And we want the wet sound to come from here completely. We don't want any dry sound in the effects return. Now to send the drums to this plugin, we need to send them in our routing. So we could do it by going to each one, go to the routing of the kick, go to our send and send it to our drum verb. Then we can adjust the setting right here, how much we're sending to this track. But there's a quicker way of doing it with multiple tracks. So let's delete that. Another way we could do it is just to drag it. Grab the routing, drag over here. Notice the cursor changes to a patch cable. Then we can just drop it on this track, and that also creates a send right here. But again, I want to send them all at the same time. So let's delete this, and instead, let's select all the drums, hold on Shift, and do the same thing. Grab any of them from their routing, and drag and drop it onto the drum verb track. Now we can view how much we're sending on each one of them in the routing. Here's our kick, here's our snare. But it's a lot quicker to do it from the effects return, right over here. Go to the routing, and now we can see all the tracks being sent to the drum reverb track. Now they start full up, so let's bring them all down so we can bring it up slowly. And also, we're sending post fader, which is what is set up by default. We can always change it to pre fader or pre effects, but for this application, we want it to be post fader. So if we bring up the fader of any of our drums, 
the reverb gets louder. Or if we bring the drums down, the reverb gets lower, which makes more sense. Now, one other thing I should show you. When we add this reverb, it adds some latency, which you can see right down here. If we don't want that, and we don't, make sure we turn on zero latency right here, which is what we're going to need if we're going to track our drums with reverb. Otherwise, the drums are going to be out of time. So make sure we turn this on and also hit play and then stop. And that resets it right here. So we're not going to hear any latency. So when we add reverb to the drums, that's still going to be in time with what the drum is playing. So let's start with the snare. That sounds a lot better, more ambient or more live, like it's recorded in a bigger room. Now let's bring in our kick drum. As a general rule, I put less reverb on the kick versus the snare. Let's bring in the other tracks. Let's hear before. That sounds a lot better to me. Now let's add some reverb to the vocal. Let's take these tracks out of record, put the vocal in record, and let's hear it. Stones throw from the interstate. Again, it's very dry, so let's do the same thing. But we're not going to use the same reverb for the vocal. We want a bigger one. So let's make a new track over here. Name it Vocal Verb. Now let's do the same thing. Add the reverb to this track, the reverb, bring the dry down completely, and the wet all the way up. Add a file right here. And we'll go back to that same folder, but this time we'll choose Kenny's vocal verb. Once again, we'll turn off the latency, zero latency right here. Hit play and stop. And make sure this is at zero, zero, so there's no latency. Now let's add some reverb to the vocal. So again, we'll send it from our routing to this track, and we can adjust it right here. Stones throw from the interstate. He fell asleep and sealed his fate. Now that reverb sounds a bit small, so let's make it bigger. We'll go down here where we added the file. Let's say another module. Right down here, we could choose Trim Gain Stretch. And that comes after our file. Then we could stretch it. Let's make it a bit bigger. Now let's hear that. Stones throw from the interstate. That's a good size, but it's a bit too much. Go to our routing and readjust it right here. Stones throw from the interstate. He fell asleep and sealed his fate When he crossed two yellow lines Red lights flashed, sirens wailed Let's hear that with the drums and the bass and the acoustic guitar. Let's leave the electric guitar off for now. Let's hear it. Stones throw from the interstate he fell asleep and sealed his fate Sounds a lot better. Before. Stones throw from the interstate. It's a bit too dry. And after. Stones throw from the interstate. 
fell asleep and sealed his fate. Sounds good. Now in the next video, we're going to add some delay or echo effects to make it sound even better. Mm -hmm.